हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड टाइम डिवीजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग व्हिच इज टीडीएम इन कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम टाइम डिवीजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग इज अ मेथड ऑफ ट्रांसमिटिंग एंड रिसीविंग इंडिपेंडेंट सिग्नल्स ओवर ए कॉमन चैनल बाय मींस ऑफ सिंक्रोनाइज्ड स्विच सो टाइम डिवीजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग इज अ प्रोसेस और अ मेथड of transmitting independent signals so as you can see in this block diagram we are having the independent signals so these independent signals are transmitted and received over a common channel by means of synchronized switch at the end of the transmission line this figure shows the block diagram of time division multiplexing system there are multiple input signals low pass filter which is pre aliasing filter there is commutator pulse amplitude modulator communication channel pulse amplitude detector decommutator low pass filter which is also known as reconstruction filter and finally we will obtain the output messages the concept of time division multiplexing is explained in the block diagram here the low pass filter are used to remove high frequency components that are present in the message signal so this low pass filter are also known as pre aliasing filter the output of pre aliasing filter is fed to commutator the commutator has the following function first one is to take samples of each n inputs at the rate of fs should be greater than or equal to 2w so the first function of commutator is to take sample of each n inputs at the rate of fs should be greater than or equal to 2w so this is the condition for sampling the signal so here w represents the highest frequency component in a signal next it has to sequentially multiplex these n samples with sampling interval ts is equal to 1 by fs then the multiplexed signal is applied to pulse amplitude modulator here the function of pulse amplitude modulator is to transform multiplexed signal into a form suitable for transmission over a channel at receiver the pulse amplitude detector will perform reverse operation of pulse amplitude modulator and it distributes signal to the appropriate low pass filter which will produce the message output so here the n number of signals will be first applied to low pass filter which is a pre aliasing filter that will remove high frequency components from the message signal then these signals are applied to the commutator here the commutator has to sample each signal at a rate of fs should be greater than or equal to 2w and output of this commutator is given to pulse amplitude modulator so this pulse amplitude modulator should transform these multiplexed signal in the form that is suitable for the transmission over a, a channel so at the receiver end the pulse amplitude detector or pulse amplitude demodulator will perform the reverse operation of pulse amplitude modulator so it will demodulate the signal and pulse amplitude modulator will distribute the signals to appropriate low pass filter that will produce the output message signal 
so here d commutator will operate in synchronization with commutator this is about time division multiplexing i hope you have understood the topic thank you